Hey folks, I'm Mike from Independence. This is my face, and I'm not usually in my own videos, but since I'm reviewing a pen today, I figured I could go ahead and show this to you. Uh, it's not a fountain pen. I'm taking a little bit of a break. I've had a hectic couple of weeks, and uh, so I'm doing a little bit of uh, ballpoint rollerball action. This is the Uniball Air. Uh, I bought these kind of just for completion, I guess. I have a lot of pens, both fountain pens and non. Tons of non-fountain pens. If it's not a fountain pen, I probably got one or two. Uh, these come in a three pack. I've only seen them uh, in this one pack. And I'm pretty sure I've only seen these at Target, I want to say. It might have been Walmart that I picked these up in. Every once in a while I go over there, but uh, I'm pretty sure I've only seen these at Target. These have the same markings on them as the 307 and the 207. That's... Uh, these guys from Uniball, we all know about these guys. So these are gel points. Uh, these are more like a rollerball. It says that they are super ink. If you look on the back, super ink. Uh, and that they're not supposed to uh, smear or they're not supposed to be removable with um, you know other chemicals and stuff. Kind of like Noodler's Bulletproof thing, uh, which is pretty good. I, I guess I would write checks with these. I haven't written a check in a long time. Maybe if I write one soon, I'll try it with this. Uh, but anyway, that's how they come. And uh, it does say it's bold, and it says it's a 0.7 which is, uh, I don't know, it seems a little bit bigger than a 0.7, and it is certainly bold. They are kind of a nicely styled pen. Here's uh, a little bit of a close-up. Uh, they've got uh, a little bit of a, oh man, needs more light, I guess. Uh, they have a little bit of a, I don't know, a bit of a textured uh, print on them. Let's see if I can get it to show it. Nah, it'll show in the other video anyway and in the pictures. Uh, but uh, it's kind of a classy looking pen. I like it pretty well. It's nice enough. Um, Anyway, this is the cap there. It's got this nice kind of cutout. It's got the same sort of color scheme uh, on the tip, uh, the section we would call that in fountain pens. Um, and then here at the end is where the, the rollerball is. You can't really see it. The way they styled this pen, let's see if I can do it this way. You can see I'm new to using this camera to videotape things. Anyway, uh, you can't really see the tip of it, which is kind of an interesting design choice. It's black on black. So, uh, I don't know, it's a nice looking pen. It says Uniball Air on it. It says 0.7, I think, maybe. Nope, it doesn't. It just says Japan. That's kind of it. It doesn't come apart or anything like that. It's one of these liquid ink pens, kind of like a Uniball Vision or something like that. Um, so, quick list of pros and cons. I've got these listed on the, uh, the pictures as well. Pros, I think it's a nice looking pen. It flows well. The ink is very smooth. Um, the, uh, I think it looks nice if it's got super ink. I actually, actually haven't tried this water test thing yet. That'll be at the end of this video. Um, but, uh, you know, the ink seems good. Um, the only thing about it is, uh, the kind of like the only thing in the cons is that it tends to bleed. Uh, this has got a really bold, it says bold and they aren't kidding. It is bleedy. Um, so if you write one, I don't know, stuff you want to use both sides of, maybe not the best pen. Uh, but like I said, a good check writing pen, good for post-its. I've got no problem with it on post-its. Works just fine. Um, you don't use the back of a post-it hardly ever, so it's a good pen for that. It's also kind of a, it's kind of markery, although it is definitely a roller ball, as far as I can tell. It is very difficult to see, but I'm pretty sure it's just got a roller at the, yeah, just got a little ball at the end. So um, this is kind of your typical roller ball type pen. Uh, but it does have a very free-flowing ink to it, so it is going to bleed a little bit. Uh, it bled through the back of my... Um, I reviewed it on this Anderson Pen's proper pad paper. There is on the back of a... There we go. It kind of bleeds through the back of this post-it. Not too much, but then here it is on the uh, proper pads. Good size, good ink flow, looks nice. Super ink! Oh, writes at any angle. I almost forgot about this. Um, it does kind of write at every angle. I was trying to write it upside down and stuff. So um, it does work that way if that's a thing you want. Um, it's never been a thing that's really bothered me with pens, but nonetheless, that's the way it goes. Um, if you write upside down, it is a lot drier, um, meaning it probably won't bleed through. If you write upside down, I'd throw that piece of wet paper, paper away. I don't know, let's go ahead and try it. Um, it is upside down. Yeah, it's finer. Uh, it doesn't actually come through. That's uh, that's right there-ish. Um, so, you know, upside down, this pen actually works a little bit better on paper. Uh, but this is proper pads. This is from Anderson Pens stuff. Uh, and you can see it does come through this a bit. And this is paper that's um, pretty good for fountain pens most of the time. Uh, some inks will bleed straight through almost everything. But um, this certainly holds up to rollerballs and gel points and a lot of fountain pen stuff, but on this one you can see the dots coming through. Um, so if you're using copy paper or what have you, yeah, it's going to bleed straight through those. I didn't even bother doing a copy paper test because I can tell you straight up it's going to bleed through copy paper. Uh, at least if it's at 20 pound stuff, it just will. Um, so there's that. All right, so 
There you go. That's the Uniball Air. Uh, next up is the uh, water test. So there we go. Let's see what happens there. Okay, so here's the water test. Uh, I can't find any of my little syringes right now. I'm not sure where I put those. Maybe they're drying somewhere. Uh, so I'm just going to use this uh, little vial. It's got water in it. No big deal. Um, and we're sp this is supposed to be super ink. So it's supposed to, I don't know, stand up to water and all that sort of jazz. Uh, fraud, uh, prevention, that kind of stuff. So let's just pour some water on it. And uh, I'll give it a little smear around there. Can't leave it quite as long. This proper pad paper is not as water resistant as Rhodia by a long sight. It's not treated or anything. And uh, hey, how about that? So yeah, really nothing came up. Let me check underneath. Oops, it's kind of stuck to my table. Yeah, nothing there. So uh, hey, Super Ink. Good job, Super Ink. Let's see, is there any twitch at all on this? Uh, uh, nope, I don't see any movement at all. So that's actually really good. And I just wrote this, I don't know, three or four minutes ago. So it hasn't had a lot of time to soak in or bond or anything, but it has dried. So it's got that going for it. Uh, but yeah, Super Ink uh, is go. So good job. That goes in the positive category. Um, since it is a liquid ink, I went ahead and did a chromatography video of it. So here's the Uniball Air chromatography right there. Uh, you can see at the bottom there's still some left where it uh, started out, which is, uh, where's my finger? There it is. But uh, look, there's still some there, but a lot of it moved. So I'm not sure what the difference is exactly between doing chromatography on these little filter papers and doing uh, chromatography on, uh, or not chromatography, but doing a water drop test. But uh, it's not always 100% accurate, I suppose, because man, look at that. No problem with water. I haven't tried it on fade resistance. Maybe I'll hang this one in a window and then uh, post that picture later. Uh, but uh, anyway, there you go. It seems to be pretty good as far as water goes. All right, so that's it. The uh, Super Ink does work in this thing, the uh, Uniball Air. You can find these in three packs, maybe one packs eventually. Uh, but uh, for me, I think it's just Target that has these. They're a little bit spendy. I think it was six bucks for the three pack. Probably that price will come down if these are at all popular. I know the price on the 307s has gone down. Definitely check out the 307s. I do think they're a bit superior to these. Um, even, I mean, look, if you like a, a capped pen and don't mind a rollerball that bleeds a bit, this is a good pen. Uh, I do like writing with it more than I like the Uniball Visions and such, but I couldn't tell you exactly exactly why. They probably perform about the same. Uh, but uh, it's got Super Ink, so hey, it's got the word Super in there, so good. Um, anyway, I'm Mike. Thanks for watching. This is inkdependence.com. Please go and check out the review there if you're not viewing it on the blog. Uh, also, if you want to help support the blog and me, uh, go over to patreon.com slash inkdependence to find out how you can help uh, support the blog. Mostly that's monetarily. So uh, if you'd like to make a donation, that would be fantastic. Um, if you already have made a donation and you're one of my patrons, hey, thank you so much. Uh, this is my face thanking you for sending me uh, cash on a monthly basis. That's awesome. All right, folks, uh, we'll see you around. Peace out.